As many of you know. <laughs> no. Nobody knows. I don't know why I keep saying that. Guess what? Da -da -da -da. Brooklyn in! Yay! Cleaning up my life, sleeping right. If you know me, you know I'm trying to boss up my life. And I am doing everything within my power to give myself a beautiful, elegant, simple space to exist in where my mental health can thrive. And that's why I'm super excited to be partnering with Brooklyn in. Don't be, <laughs> Bubba's, we're doing a brand deal. You can't be licking your business. <laughs> so here's the deal. High quality bed sheets can be really expensive and they can be really hard to find. You never know what you're gonna get. You have to do a bunch of research online, pull up all this business, and Brooklyn it makes it easy for you by cutting out the middleman and making it affordable. So, let's get to the unboxing people because Brooklyn is offering you $20 off orders of $100 or more with my code Lizzie20. That is so cute. I love this color. Wow, Billy Doe. Feel this. That's really nice. I'm gonna throw these in the wash and then I'm gonna throw them on my bed. Okay, this is pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever made a bed before, but guessing and checking which is the long side and which is the short side of a fitted sheet is a nightmare. And often you can do it like super wrong and then you have to redo it again, which is exhausting. Long side. Thank you, Brooklyn Inn. Okay, wow. Brooklinen was founded on the philosophy that like people deserve beautiful luxury materials without a luxury price and they are staying true to their mission statement, let me tell you. It feels like this was the ultimate form of self-care that I needed to add into my routine. Like not only do I need to wake up and brush my teeth and like make the bed, but I need to make the bed with something that's cozy and nice to be in. Like right now I'm rubbing my feet on it. It is so soft, I don't wanna get out of this bed. I'm gonna work from bed for the rest of the day. Those of you who are following my journey know that I've been like having a really hard time wanting to be in my bedroom. So when I found out that Brooklyn Inn had 90,000 five star reviews online, I had to try them for myself. And I'm really glad that I did. I went with the Brooklyn Inn Luxe Bundle Sheet Set because instead of buying each item individually, it comes in like a package where you get the fitted sheet, the top sheet, the pillowcases, and the duvet cover and they knock 25% off of your price for getting it in a bundle like that, which is super sick. And I chose the Lux because it's got a thread count of 480, which is just crazy buttery soft. And it's got this sheen, like this nice finish to it that's a little bit shiny, which I really like. They also have the classic hardcore sheet bundle, which is the same as my package like it comes with a fitted sheet a top sheet a duvet cover and the pillowcases and instead of buying them individually when you get it in that bundle you get 25 percent off which is very chill they come in a range of colors there's north of 20 options you, you can mix and match your package which is really fun if you want to get creative in a room i'm obsessed it's awesome i'm super excited to partner with them if you go to Brooklyn in right now to pick out your bed sheets and you spend over $100, if you use code Lizzie20 at checkout, you will get $20 off a purchase of $100 or more. So Brooklyn and thank you so much for working with me on my vlog. I try to make this space about making positive, healthy choices for myself and for my audience. And I can't think of something better to do for yourself today than pick up a set of Brooklyn and bed sheets because these bed sheets are the ultimate act of self care. The only drawback of these sheets is that you don't want to get out of bed. But unfortunately, as an adult in this life, we find ourselves having to get out of bed. And so it is with great dismay that I inform you. I'm heading to the kitchen and I'm getting out of bed. Brooklyn in, thank you for upping my bed game. I'm obsessed. Actually, I have a pretty packed day. I'm in the... I forgot I'm running the dishwasher. I'm in the middle of self-producing a sample commercial and I'm doing that because I wanna start working as a director who does like commercials. Take a shot every time I said commercial. I was thinking that it might be kind of fun to show you guys everything that it takes to make just basically a sample to show somebody 
that I'm worthy of employment <laughs> because it's a lot. The idea I have for the commercial is inspired by my dad. When I was a baby girl, he used to take me to the basketball courts and he would tie hot pink sneakers on my feet and say, Stanford Women's Basketball Scholarship. And then he would like play basketball by himself. Sorry to disappoint you, dad, I never played basketball. I was like a cheerleader and I did soccer and I did debate team and mock trial, but I never played basketball. But that is also the inspiration for my spec commercial. I am going to do a pretend ad for basketball shoes inspired by my dad and our story. Coming up with the idea is just a tiny, tiny part of the overall creation of a work sample. Once I have that sort of thought in my mind, I then think about it visually and I go to my computer and I write out a script. So I know that this sample has to be exactly 30 seconds. And what I've written, I now need to sort of choreograph visually to ensure that it doesn't go over 30 seconds. And one of the things that I do to make sure I stay like on plan and on my time budget is I will take a couple of my friends and force them to come out to the location that I'm shooting. And I will shoot on my phone sort of the frames of what I imagine the actual commercial looking like. And I'll film them as if they are the actual talent I'll be casting. And then I'll edit that together as if it is the actual commercial so I can see what I need to get on the day to make a sort of perfect ad. And I do this for every project I have. It's not specific to a commercial. Yeah, I don't know, is this boring? I love doing this. You guys are always like, shoot, not cooking. But it's like, you guys, I cook because other than that, and I just sit. That's why my bed's gotta be chill. I like to sit in my bed and write with my dogs. But yeah, if you find this interesting, I'll tell you guys more and I'll bring you along on the actual shoot day. Shoot days are few and far between. And what comes be between that is a majority of the work. It's the preparation, it's the visualization, it's storyboarding, it's shooting a, a mock-up of it. You know, producing, it's ordering lunch for everyone, it's hiring everyone. This is what it takes and I love doing it so I'm excited by the journey and I feel like the most important element of chasing a dream is that your dream ignites passion and fire in your heart because the journey is long and if you're not happy throughout the journey and you're just chasing this end goal, you might not really be in love with the end goal. So even though I'm not being paid to make this commercial, my soul is nourished by the work that I'm doing, which means to me that I'm on the right path. So if you're doing something that you're not 100% juiced on, find the thing that makes your heart sing and chase it with everything you've got because it's probably worth it. Let's make some spooky jalapeno poppers. <laughs> I'm just scrunch down to make sure I'm in frame here. I'm using a recipe from Amanda's Cooking, easy family friendly recipes. And my God, they're so freaking cute, Amanda. I can't stand it. So what we're gonna need to make this is simple actually, which is great. All right, so we're gonna need baking sheet, mixing bowl, got it. Oh, also jalapenos are hot. Do not f around with these peppers with your bare ass hands. Wear some gloves because if you're a woman and you do it with your bare ass hands and then later on you like itch your coochie, you're gonna find yourself in a world of pain. So in the best interests of your coochies, girls, wear gloves while you're de-seeding these bad boys. And Joe has requested that I kind of bake them before I bake them to make them a little bit less hot. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is have the jalapenos remove the core and bake them. And uh, then we'll go through the rest of the recipe. I'm picking out a thermos for you. I'm picking out a thermos for you. One more thermos for you. Ah! Gross. Jalapenos. Peppers instantly always, like I can feel them in the back of my throat tingling. I don't know what that's about. It's like the smell of them. Maybe I'm allergic. I don't know. From what I understand, the more of the seeds you get out, the less spicy it is. So get rid of them seeds, guys. Put a little oil on them. Rub that in.
I just started reading the rest of the instructions and it says I need to make one egg lightly beaten with one tablespoon of water for egg wash, which means I'm gonna need something to, to wash it with, right? I mean, I don't know. Do I just use a regular paintbrush? Joe's always saying we need one of these brushes. Um, I guess I'll just use a regular paintbrush. I do not have a paintbrush. I do have a hot glue gun that I have bought for every crafting activity I've ever done. Cause for some reason, every time I do an activity, I forget that I already have seven hot glue guns from the seven activities I did previously. Um, but no paintbrushes. So we'll figure out the egg wash when we get there. And we're gonna put these in now. So I'm only making half the recipe um, because I'm a wimp and I can't handle too much. And the, while well, I pre-cook the jalapenos, I'm gonna make the stuffing. And now you and I together are jumping to step three. The cream cheese, Monterey Jack, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, black pepper in a large bowl starting to combine. Uh, because I'm cutting this in half, instead of doing eight ounces of cream cheese softened, I'm gonna do four. And uh, the same is true with the Monterey Jack shredded cheese. I'm also thinking about adding bacon bits to my uh, jalapeno poopers. My mummy jalapeno poopers. Stop it, you'll kill them. A little bit of cream cheese on my face four ounces. Now I'm gonna add four ounces of Monterey Jack cheese. Now I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. You know what, I know I'm having the recipe but I'm gonna still do a full blast of those because I like a flavor blast. I'm a flavor blasted kind of gal. Half tablespoon of onion powder, half tablespoon of garlic powder. It's asking for a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll do half that. Eight teaspoon of black pepper. And now I'm gonna mix that up. Ooh, should have softened that cheese more. That was particularly hard because it was not soft cream cheese. It was like cold hard cream cheese. I am gonna add some bacon bits because I'm a reckless lady. That seems good. All right, I'm gonna make the egg wash. Interesting how you can just crush an egg in your hands like that and shells just get all up in your bowl. What's that about? Rude. The timer is going off for my jalapenos. Ooh, they crisping in there. Here he is. It's you, Bill. Oh. It, I'm saying here you are. He's getting out of his shirt. Put him back in his shirt. Bobo. Help him. Great sound, huh? Love that. Like locusts in a plague. I'm gonna flip these guys over now. They're pretty flat. Wonder if there's a way to come back from this. While the jalapenos cool, the crescent rolls, I'm gonna unroll the crescent rolls and divide them into four rectangles. To do this, you will need to push together two triangles, sealing them at the preparations. Um, to be completely honest, I never know how to open these things. Start, uh, pop. What? Start here, press spoon against seam in direction of arrow fully. This shit stresses me out 100% of the time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you pop this shit? I'm scared. Ugh. I'm pressing so hard. How do you open this? What the? How do how do grandmas do this? No hate to the grandma generation, but like I'm putting all my strength into this. I go to the gym every day and lift weights, and I can't open this. Okay. Press spoon at seam until can't open. Okay. Ah! Jesus Lord. Okay. And now I unroll it. Well, this seems pretty stuck together. I don't think I'm gonna have to unroll it more, you know? 
So I'm just going to press the perforated edges together. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to cut it lengthwise into strips. And these will become the mummy's bandages. They've been sliced. Now I'm going to add the cheese stuffing into the jalapenos. And I think I'm going to use the bandages to sort of reshape the jalapenos themselves so that they stay tighter. Oh, f I forgot to turn the oven back on. Um, start, uh, bake, 400, start. Yeesh! All right, this is too hard to film and do, so I'm gonna do it and I'll show you when I'm done. They are stuffed. Now I must wrap my mummies. Nana Sherl just texted. Hi, Nana. She said, loved yesterday's vlog. I'm going to trade the green jacket to heavy brown jacket. I don't know what that means. It's the jacket thing. Okay, so I'm kind of cradling this guy underneath. And then... Oh, wow. This is hard. Okay, one. Do I really need two? Feels like I don't need two. Leaving space for the eyes. Okay, one. Cute! I feel like I should be doing some like mummy incantations while I do this. I'm trying to wrap it sort of around the top part here as if that's gonna save the cheese from spilling out. I don't know. I'm not an Egyptian priest. I don't know how to tell you how to wrap a mummy. Ooh, they're getting slippery. Really slippy. Oh, we got a response from Nana. She said hamburger bun. That's funny, Nana. <laughs> she's changing it. She's going to use my recipe, but she's changing the light green jacket, aka the lettuce, to a heavy brown, aka a bun. Funny. I love you, Nana. May they rest in peace. Oh, I guess I should add the little eyes. One sec. So I got a couple of options. I have these that I got for Christmas last year from my mother-in-law because she knows I love to eat them. They're so tasty. Um, but I don't think candy eyes are tasty on jalapeno poppers. So I also got small pitted black olives that I'm gonna cut into, well, I'm gonna slice them and use those for the eyes on this. And I'm also just gonna eat these other eyes because they're just delish. It tastes a little bit like uh, the dipstick on one of those dip candies, you know what I'm talking about? The fun dip? Yeah, these are so fire. If you know, you know. Mm. Look, honestly, thank you very much, Marge. I love this shit. Why are these so cute? <laughs> Look at their little eyes. Stupid. Okay, I'm gonna cook them now. I forgot to lightly brush with the egg wash. I'm just using this. I don't have a brush because I'm a loser. Cute! Oh man. Alright, these guys are going in to the great oven pyramid. See you suck ass fools in 12 minutes. Yo, I'm fing I don't I've never had a jalapeno popper, and I am really looking forward to this. I don't know why I'm looking forward to it. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but I do f with cheese. And I feel like anything with cheese is f***able. Cool. So I'm gonna f*** these jalapeno poppers. The timer has gone off, and the second I stood up, the aroma... They're <gasps> <laughs> so cute! No, you don't go feel that. It's mummies. It's just a mummies. <laughs> oh, man. They're so cute! Wow, Amanda, great recipe, bitch. All right, I let them cool for a minute, and now I'm gonna try them. You can smell these motherfuckers through the whole ass house. Oh, he's so cute! I thought these would be things that I could like pick up with my hands and eat, but I don't think that's the case. That's a big bite, daddy. That's gonna be a big one. I'm so glad I added those bacon bites. And I'm so glad I pre-cooked these. Because it is still very spicy. But nice, dude. That is 
tasty. Mmm. Wow, I really like that. Very spicy. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. I'm also gonna eat like four more of them. That is so good. They're just so cute too. <laughs> it's the joy. I'll give him an eight for the joy. James is not gonna try these. He hates jalapenos apparently. The poor bastard. I'm gonna enjoy them with a little bit of Lighthouse Ranch, which is the superior ranch. Any person who likes ranch knows this. Oh God, they're good you guys. Happy spooky season. Make these. If you're having a Halloween party, make these. They're friggin' good. They're not that hard. And they're really good. I'm gonna actually have three. I'm like salivating. Literally obsessed. Ooh! And that's it. That's all she wrote. And here we are. Back in our beautiful, comfy bed. After sleeping in these a few nights, I have to say, like, I don't know how I ever slept before. I'm staying, like, super cozy, but not too hot. And just, like... I've been on set the past couple days and I hate that I cannot spend 100% of my time between these sheets. Brooklinen, thank you so much for supporting my vlog. If you guys are watching and you need new bed sheets, go to Brooklinen right now. Save yourself 25% off by getting a hardcore bundle set and use my code Lizzie20 to get an additional $20 off any purchase over $100. Next week is gonna be a little spooky, a little silly, a little fun. I actually ended up making my Halloween costume and Rylan's Halloween costume for the vlog. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of that process, but I'm not gonna show you what we actually are because it's a surprise. And we're not Kravis. I saw some of the guests on the podcast. You'll never see this coming. <laughs> it's very random. So come back next week. I'm gonna show you the process of making our costumes and I'm gonna make another spooky treat. Some haunted deviled eggs and some cheesy pumpkin balls. That's all I got for you guys. See you next Tuesday.